Imagine having a place like this near you and being unable to go into it. I really want to investigate that valley down there. You can see where it goes. Hello buzzard. Where it goes. You can see there in the middle of the shot and if you follow it up it goes round the corner. Sure, that's really interesting in there. Well, hello. Thanks for joining me. I just wanted to talk about some things. You know, starting off in a beautiful place like this, we're going to head into a boring lane very soon. I mean, boring. But uh, last year, there was a big thing about BLM, Black Lives Matter. And I listened to some of the stuff that they were saying. And, uh, well, here's what used to happen to me, or happens to me. Mostly used to. I would walk into a store looking for something that I was going to buy, because I'm not a thief. And, I would notice the store detective. They'd be a bit close to me. Now I noticed this because I'd go to one section, then I'd be looking for something else, and I noticed they followed me. And I thought, that's strange, he can't be wanting the same things as me, and it was always a man. Anyway, so what I used to do was Instead of feeling intimidated, I used to see them, spot them, and I would deliberately move towards them all the time. Wherever they went, I would move towards them. Because it was just so funny. <laughs> and they were, yeah, supposed to be keeping an eye on me. So the best way to do that is if I follow them. And of course, they didn't know what to do then. But I did think, well, it's really stupid because while they're watching me, someone else is stealing stuff. So fine, follow me around and hopefully someone's gonna steal stuff because it'll serve you right for judging me by what I look like. And so, you know, there was a lot I could understand in the BLM movement. Uh, the other thing that used to happen to me was that I'd be stopped by the police. And they'd stop me and they'd say, they'd come out with a, an excuse and then they'd say, well, someone matching your description has been seen 
doing whatever, committing a crime. Or they would stop me in my car and then they would say, someone driving a similar car to yours has done a robbery, I just need to question you. Yeah, that's what... Obviously, lies are not true at all. Uh, see if I can get a good view in there. Here, look. Look at that. And I can't go in there. See, it's... Can you notice that? There are no birds singing in there. That's not a good sign, is it? Uh, there was one time where I was buying a penny whistle and I went to the one shop and had a look and they didn't have the one I wanted so I wanted it in A. I think I wanted it in A. And then, so I went to the other music shop and the next thing I, and so I was in this music shop, they had an A, I went to the counter and I bought it. And as I was waiting for my change, a policeman came in and said, oh, I've had reports that you've been stealing things from another shop. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nearly got shot on by a pheasant. Uh, I said, well, what are you talking about? They said, would you mind opening it, emptying your pockets? So I took stuff out of my pockets. And one of them was a penny whistle, of which I had the receipt for, having just bought it and having the policeman witness that I was given my change. And that was because the woman in the other shop didn't like me for some reason. So instead of, instead of asking me when I left the shop or calling out and saying, oh, excuse me, yeah, if she'd really thought I'd stolen something, she didn't. She went and phoned the police. And they were like, well, they could see that there was nothing they could do because I'd have blooming receipt for the thing that she said she, I'd stolen. Anyway, that used to happen a lot. I'd be blamed for stuff because of what I looked like. Be followed around because of what I looked like. I think. <laughs> I think there may be other things involved here. But look at that. It looks so nice in there. Doesn't it? But quiet. So deathly quiet. I may have to investigate. It's happening to me because I don't look like I should be. And that's what's weird is, you know. I happen to be looking different. And not through, you know, not through skin. So yeah, I can uh, totally understand what it's like to feel um, what's the word? Persecuted. Because I was. So even even to you know a few years ago. Pe you know, people say stuff about me because they imagine that's what I do. That's their minds, isn't it? their brain imagining these things that I do it's just a reflection of them let's have a look then shall we shall us see that's why it's so quiet because of them but that's just that bit this bit isn't, that's beaches, but there are some more further back. So tempting, isn't it, to just go in.
but it is quite strange to be followed and there not be a reason why you should be followed. I mean, the story about the police following me in a boat once. That's, that's already uploaded, so there's something. You, you can see that one, I'm not gonna repeat myself. I try not to repeat myself. I hope, <laughs> I hope it works. There are some things I just can't resist. That's a lot of chickens. So while I'm dealing with that subject, I may as well talk about the GBLT I, yeah, whatever, Q. Um, sorry, that's not meant to sound dismissive. It's just like, uh, I mean, I just view it as just another label to put people in because that's what it is. And while we still have to have things like that, we're stopping some kind of flow. Because the one thing about it is, you know, you can't, any of us, none of us, can judge why someone has come back to this incarnation and what they have to learn through it. We have our own, just like no one can judge us. Or decide why we've come here, why we're living this incarnation and having the stuff happen to us that we do. Or creating the stuff happening to us as we do. Because we all have our own learning things, so to discriminate in any way is uh, not a good thing is it I mean, obviously there are certain things that are just morally wrong uh, but I think most people know the difference between right and wrong uh, it's one of my biggest bugbears about my mother because she she treated me I can't speak for me. She treated me like I was bad all the time. And I know it's come from her mother, how she was treated. But see, I'm not like that. I know what's right and wrong. I know I keep my room tidy. You know, I don't go and do those things that I get accused of or people assume that I do. But the trouble is, when that happens to you when you're young, what tends to happen is when you get any kind of freedom, it becomes warped and twisted and you start getting into trouble because you've grown up not being trusted, you know, or not being, yeah, not being trusted and not being seen as who you are, being seen as this thing in someone else's mind with an idea of who you are. And the most crucial thing for any child is that their parent loves them and it encourages them to be themselves. That's what we need. And that way we bring healthy children into the world, healthy adults into the world. You know, it, there are some people that think if you send your child away to get a great education, that's the best thing you can do for them, but it isn't. In no way is that any good at all, because what children want is to be with their parents. It doesn't matter what's going on, they want to be with their parents. You know, the mother of my children was sent away to boarding school nine miles from where she lived. She had to stay there. She didn't go to get home. She didn't 
wasn't allowed to go home at night. Nine miles. Uh, her brother ran away from the school. It's like, why, why do this? Why have children if you're going to send them away? That's not, you know, that doesn't create a healthy adults. You know, people's children would live with them in a swamp if they had to, rather than be separated from their parents. It causes far too much damage. So that's the best thing you can do as a parent. Love your children and encourage them to do all those things that they do, not those things that you think they should do or you want them to do. And maybe at some point in the future we can have a healthy world. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ta-da. Mm.